Today, I'm going to show you how to generate free leads starting today utilizing KV Core Squeeze Page and Landing Page. So when you first log into KV Core, you're going to come over here to the left to Lead Engine. Go to All Lead Engine Tools and you will land here. First, we're going to start with your Squeeze Page. So you click on your domain and start building. So we're going to start with a multi-property. Put in your area here, let that populate. And then the listing type. So I want coming soons, I want condos and single family. You can put the style in, you can tailor it as broad as you want um, or as narrow as you want, what, you know, whatever you're trying to do. And here's where you can put your price range, acreage, bedroom, square feet. I'm going to leave all this open because I'm going to be searching up waterfront properties. So here under options is where the waterfront is. So this is where all your niches are. So you can pick on whatever if you want horse property, over 55, new builds, fixer uppers, golf course. But I am doing waterfront. Over here on the right where it says hashtags, this is where you're going to want to put your hashtag in. Mine's going to be waterfront. So when your leads start coming in and it has your hashtag, I'm going to know where it came from. Under property views, it's defaulted at two views. I like to have mine at three or five. I don't want to make them register right away. Um, I found that if you do three or five, I get more quality leads coming in. So I'm going to set mine at three. Right here is where you generate the link. So I take this short link and then let me show you what it looks like. Let me open another little browser, paste that. So this is the results that everybody's going to see when they're driven to your page. So there's 31 properties that fit waterfront homes. So here's all the properties that everyone's going to see. So we're going to make sure you have that copied. We are going to go back to Lead Engine, all Lead Engine tools. This is where we're going to build our landing page. So you're going to click on your domain and start building. So here you have your landing page. So this is your logo, your brokerage logo. You have to leave that there for compliance. Um, so the theme right now, it's on a dark theme. You can come over here and toggle it to a light theme if you want. I'm just going to keep mine at the dark theme. And this little drop box right here on the left, this gives you your options. You can do a lead gen, video view, video plus lead, address capture, Facebook chat, text lead. But for today, I'm a huge fan, by the way, of the video lead. But today I'm just going to do lead gen. So here you can do your hashtag optional. I always say put your hashtag in waterfront. So this is your submit button. This is this orange button down here. So you can make that say whatever you want. Right now it says, see the list now. You can change it to click here. Whatever you want it to say, it's gonna populate down here for you. So that short link is, this is where you're gonna put that. So when people come again, this is what they're gonna see, all of the properties that you populated. You can require them to leave their phone number. You don't have to. I always do. And then here's your background. So you have all these pictures you can choose from. Go through them all. See which ones you like, which one works for your niche or whatever it is you're trying to do. You can always put in a custom background as well. Or you can use the primary MLS image if you're doing a specific property. But please keep in mind when you do that, when that property is no longer active, that photo goes away. So that's fine if you're doing this landing page short term, but if you want to keep it out there long term and that property is no longer active, then that photo is going to go away. So keep that in mind when you do that. So for now, we're just going to click on this one for my waterfront and my lead type, buyer because I'm looking for buyers who want to buy waterfront. Here is where you can click on this. You can change this to say whatever you want. So you just go ahead and delete it, put whatever you want it to say. So waterfront property. 
And then underneath, you can click that, change that. If you don't want it there, double click. Same with these. You can put little messages down here. Keep what they have if it works for you. And if you want it gone, double click. But please keep in mind, once you double click that to go away, you cannot get it back. Once you hit publish on this page, you cannot go in and make any edits to it at all. You will have to start over. So it might take you a couple times. Don't get frustrated. Just remember that you can't edit once you hit save. So this is going to be your landing page. So you can go ahead and save it. I am not going to save it because this is just for learning purposes. But I will show you what it looks like, the one that I did for my waterfront. So you go back to your landing page, make sure your domain's up and go to past landing pages. Here's the one I did yesterday. Already 83 people have seen it. And this is what it looks like. So I have the picture of the lake behind me. I have my full list of must have homes, be the first to know. So you can, like I said, tailor that to whatever you want it to say. If you found this video helpful, please like it, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next training.